from sleeping in some homeless shelters as uh, a younger boy to a full ride to Harvard University. Richard Jenkins' story of determination is truly remarkable. He turned his challenging childhood of bullying and medical hurdles and poverty into the motivation to achieve an Ivy League future. And this is just the beginning uh, for him. Rich Jenkins joins me now. So Rich Jenkins, okay, Harvard, all right. Uh, that's pretty darn impressive. Um, how's that feeling? Has that sunk in? And can you take me back to the moment when you found out? Um, yeah, so when I first found out, I was actually in Paris on a school trip. Um, and I was on the phone with my girlfriend and I had been so nervous for hours because I was, I, wait, I was waiting, you know, all day to hear the news. And like, so we're on the phone and I finally decide I'm going to check, you know, all my Ivy League decisions because they all come out at the same time. And I check UPenn first and I get waitlisted. I'm like, okay, it's not that bad. I check Yale and I get de denied. I'm like, all right, maybe time to start looking at some other schools. <laughs> then I check Harvard and I see the word welcome and I like threw my phone across the room. Uh. And uh, we're all like jumping around and it, it was a crazy time. It was a crazy time. But uh, crazy. it didn't really... Sorry. No, no, it didn't really, were you going to say sink in? Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. it, it didn't really sink in until probably about a, a, a couple of days later when I was on the plane back. Uh, I was sitting around listening to music and I was like, wow, I'm really about to go to Harvard. It, 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 was, it was insane. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Can you just take me back from, 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 the ne from now to going to Harvard from your childhood and some of the difficulties that you and your family faced? Um, so what, around sixth grade is kind of like when everything shifted. Uh, at the time I was living in a homeless shelter in Germantown called the Wayne House. Um, we were basically just, you know, living, staying there until we could find a way to get off our feet. And I had a conversation with one of my friends uh, because he, we were walking home one day and he asked me where I lived and Wayne House kind of looks like just that a big house it looks like it could be a mansion um so i was like yeah i live there and he he, he goes oh you guys own that i'm like yeah yeah we do and it took it took a little while but eventually i started thinking about it. i'm like oh god i really should not have lied about that um and i, I started feeling bad because i'm like i shouldn't i i really don't even like the fact that i'm in this position to mm. you know be able to need to lie about that mm. and so that's when i kind of like flipped the switch and decided yeah it's time to make a change and, um, and you were the kid and rich it's my understanding if i can just you were the kid in class who was always raising his hand and i read that those kids who were making fun of you for raising your hand called you harvard yeah yeah that's true uh it's actually who's laughing now baby ironic. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be me. Uh, that would be them. Um, how, he, he, can you just tell me a little bit more about Mighty Writers? Um, so Mighty Writers is an after-school program for students, um, basically teaching them writing skills, you know, analytical skills, compositional skills, um, just to give people, students, a place to go to outside of, you know, the street. Um, because a lot of people in, especially in West Philly, but they have, uh, they have centers all around. Uh, there's like not a lot to do outside of sports. And if you don't play a sport, well, what are you doing? You're probably sitting around at home. Um, so it was a way to give people something else to do that was educational and would actually help them later on in life. It's wonderful. That's wonderful. Uh, I've got one more for you and then I've got to go, Rich. You're, I understand your godfather actually set up a GoFundMe. I know you've got this full ride to Harvard, but he set up this GoFundMe. It's up to tw over $28,000. Your, yeah. your reaction to that and what are you, what are you gonna use the money for? Um, so first what I'm gonna use the money for is mostly, well, not even, I can't even say mostly because it's way too, too much to even go to just this, but it's going to go to school expenses, like paying for books, um, because that kind of stuff isn't covered by my financial aid. Like I have full room board and tuition, but there's just some outside costs, that, like unbilled costs that will still come to me. Mm -hmm. 
But aside from that, it'll be uh, just money to, you know, have to go out, go throughout daily life. Rich Jenkins, uh, from everyone watching to us here at CNN, just congratulations, our sincerest congratulations and best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.